The next thing that the instructions told us to do were to relink any missing pictures. Now, we could go right to the links panel window and then links and we could start relinking. But in the lecture I showed you that you should be seeing what your pre-flight issues are because you're not always going to have instructions that tell you now do this and now do this and now do that. And so the first thing that you should look at when you open InDesign is that you have errors and you have this red stop sign or this red circle in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And that's a problem. There are 14 errors. And if you hit the little drop down there, you can see that you can launch the pre-flight panel from down the bottom. In the lecture, though, I showed you to do it from the window menu. And I'm a menu person, so I'm going to go to the window menu, output, and then pre-flight. And I'm going to use that pre-flight panel in conjunction with window and links here to relink all the pictures in the project. And so just like I showed you in, let me zoom in here a little bit, just like I showed you in the lecture, um, the pre-flight panel will show you what's wrong, and you shouldn't have any text errors at this point. If you do, go back to the previous video and get rid of your text errors. And then if I expand this, I can see that I have missing links. So if I had modified, I would, I would have two options. It would say these ones are missing and these ones are modified. And then if I expand it further, it will say all these pictures are missing, and over here on the right hand side, these are the pages they're on. And so assignment 1c.tiff here is on page 4. And if I click on that, it will take me to page 4 and see how there's a box around this giraffe picture. It's telling me that's the picture that's missing. Also, notice that when I did that, it automatically highlighted that picture on the links panel. And so we learned in lecture that if you select a picture and you hit the little chain that's halfway down the links panel, don't hit the one with the cloud unless you're using the Creative Cloud. Um, you can relink the picture. When you select it, it'll say, okay, now go find the picture. But before you do that, you need to be confident that you're finding the right picture. And so you're going to do two things every time you relink a picture. First, you're going to write down or you're going to note the name of the picture, assignment1c.tiff. And then I clicked on it on page four and it highlighted. It is telling me it's the giraffe picture. So I'm looking for a file named assignment1c.tiff and I'm looking to make sure that it's a draft. And so when I relink this, I'm going to go to the folder that I downloaded, assignment one package, or it's not a package file folder, and I'm gonna find assignment one C, and I'm gonna double check that it's a draft. And if you look closely at the description of the file that I'm looking for and the file that I found, you can figure out why InDesign can't find it. The file name has changed. So when I put this picture into the project, it was assignment1c.tiff, but now somebody has renamed it to assignment1-c.tiff. And they may look really similar, but to InDesign, it's black and white. It's on or off. It is right or wrong, and it is not the same file. And so I need to relink it. So I need to select it, double check it's a draft, and select open. And you'll see that when I did that, it, it disappeared from the pre-flight panel. And if I go back to the links panel, this assignment1c.tiff on page 4, it's no longer a problem. But assignment1c on page 1, also the draft image, drafts right here behind that little bar, it's still missing. And so I would have to select the relink button. I would have to find assignment1c in that folder that I supplied to you for the project. I'd have to confirm that it's the draft and then hit open. And you need to do that for all the pictures. And I also said that you don't actually have to do it individually. I could select assignment 1A and see that it's the tiger and confirm it's a tiger on page 2 and it's the tiger on page 1. And then instead of doing them individually, I can select the grouping, select relink, and now I'm looking for assignment 1A, or it's dash A, and it's the tiger. And when I hit open, both of those images have now been relinked. I would like you to go through and relink all the images in the, prod, in the assignment. I would like you to expand them and do them one at a time for practice if you've never done it before. Your goal is to get rid of every single stop sign you see on the links panel. And by the time you're done, the pre-flight panel should be completely empty. There should be no issues. You should have a green circle in the bottom left hand corner. And you should have a green circle, like a green thumbs up saying everything's good to go, in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. When you're done, move on to the next video and we'll talk about saving and packaging.